Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, what I wanted to do was uh, share something one of the viewers uh, shared with me on uh, one of my DaVinci videos. So uh, this is DaVinci Calibrator. So I've done several videos on calibrating the DaVinci printers, and it seems that someone has released an Android-based application on Amazon for this, and I found it, it kind of interesting. Uh, also, it has four-star reviews, so that that's pretty good. We'll look at the customer v reviews in a minute. However, one of the things I kind of wanted to do was take a look at the um, uh, screen here. And so uh, one of the things it really looks like it does a very good job of kind of describing how many turns and, and uh, apparently what you do is you insert the numbers from the screen that the da Vinci gives you and it tells you which knob to turn roughly how much to turn it and so again very interesting now I, I was kind of thinking aloud when I saw this that that you could also create something like this out of a spreadsheet and, and I actually may do that if I have time um, you know because you know there's you know so, so many threads per inch and, and again if you know what the number is and, and how far they're off in the delta you, you can calculate all this it's it's not that hard uh, however somebody went through a lot of trouble and doing a very nice job here of rendering the bed and, and a lot of the graphics so uh, you know very interesting with regards to that and so if we go and we look um, that's the same I don't know how you change Oh, here's how you change it. So, um, again, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job changing it. So, again, it shows that you can put it in the various settings and uh, looks like some kind of calculator. Now, I haven't actually downloaded this. I'm, I'm more of an Apple person. So, uh, I did want to share this, though, because, uh, again, I think it's interesting. Calibration aid for the 3D printer. So anyways, um, this is pretty impressive, and, and again, it looks like it's got some pretty good reviews. I mean, in 82 custom reviews, um, long but worth reading, DaVinci Model 2, uh, works but still needs some works programming to be perfect, and they gave him four, five stars. So the star ratings all look relatively uh, good, so... Uh, Anyhow, this, this this might be something that you you want to give a try, and um, I'll put the link below. It's a dollar ninety nine. So, you know, if you have a DaVinci, and, and again, I cannot I cannot emphasize this enough. Um, you, you know, I, I and, and I'm kind of surprised in general. And this is a general comment. I, I'm just really surprised at how many people are really, um, I, and I guess I'm just going to come out and say it, afraid to level their bed. So a lot of people you know, we'll get it so-so and then just not want to touch it. I mean, you know, yeah, there might seem to be a little bit of voodoo art in it. However, if you want to get good prints, you have to level and calibrate your bed. You know, just ignoring it is just, you know, going to lead to frustration and crappy prints. Trust me. Uh, you know, I, I level and calibrate m uh, beds across all four of my 3D printers on a regular basis. And, and, and one thing is, is I'm, if I want a quality print out of a specific thing I'm going to print and it's just not a knockaround thing, I will calibrate it and adjust it before I do that print uh, on, on every one because just the simple act of prying that print off the bed is going to affect it. I mean, you, you, you're talking a very small amount of tolerance in that bed, and it's typically sitting on springs, and just so the change in compression of the springs will affect that distance. So I, I can't emphasize it, you know, uh, enough that really calibrate and, and, and spend the time to level your bed as you'll have a lot better quality print in the end of the day. So hopefully you found this video interesting. Again, link will be below. Give it a thumbs up. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.